Well, you're riding along once again with old Barry, and uh, I want to do another one of our road videos to keep our subscribers up to date on what's going on. Uh, I'm just here approaching the turn off to go into the towns of Paita, San Rafael, etc., etc. So I'm on the Carretera or Highway 5 right now. Now, why I feel this video is perhaps the most important one we've done on roads is uh, this is the main highway uh, people know it as uh, La Carretera but it's Highway 5. This is how you're going to come in either from Samana Airport one direction or Puerta Plata in the other direction. Now what makes this video important as we ride along is there's a project on redoing the entire highway. Now really, it, it really wasn't that bad to begin with. But you're riding along with us, uh, with me now, on some of the areas that have just been swept and prepped, okay? There's going to be some delays. I'm going to describe what's going on here a little bit because um, in my humble thoughts, uh, and I'm certainly no expert, but uh, this is a minor game changer because when this project is done, uh, you should from either direction, even if it's your first time coming here at night by renting a car with the amount, with the reflector system that's going to be going in, the widened lanes, the actual turnoffs. Now, right now, uh, we're just driving through, I guess, uh, Las Guardas would be uh, the town of Chubby Women, actually, because it's Las Guardas, so they're talking feminine. Uh, it's a rice uh, community, and they grow an awful lot of rice here. But in any event, uh, we're still on what they're prepping and everything. Now, this is going to be considerably wider uh, as I see what they've prepped and, I, and we're going to take a look a little further on down the film about some finished product except for the lines and the reflectors. But uh, pardon all the uh, little short stops here and I have to cut it on and off because of dust and whatever. But um, take a look at all these bags of cement here, okay? These are going to be, believe it or not, they're going to be mixed up one at a time maybe two or three at most in a little mixer and uh, they're putting a cement base in all the critical areas that used to have problem with drainage. You guys that live here, y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? Well now if you take a look at every area where the rivers run through, there's now four foot culverts underneath. So, uh, I don't know, I guess it's high time they did it right. They should have done it this way the first time, but you know what they say, best time to have planted an oak tree was 20 years ago, and the second best time is now. So uh, at least they're doing it now. It's going to save a lot of breakup during rainy season, okay? And um, it, it's, it's amazing to me still that uh, they still do a majority of this. A lot of it is done by hand, okay? This is a massive project. But uh, now we're uh, leaving this area and just bypassing some cars, okay? A little further on up the road, I'm going to switch it on to some of the asphalt that's finished. So you're going to get a chance like uh, to see what the finished paving will look like. Of course, I said it's minus reflectors and, and sidelines. Um, and they're... Uh, I, I can't tell you how much nicer this is already in terms, not just for the smoothness, but in terms of the width, the lane width. I know many areas they've actually filled just to make it wider. And uh, like I say, in my humble opinion, in a minor degree, when you have infrastructure like this that's developing, getting modern, uh, when it's done, I'll do just a, a quick one minute video on it while we're riding along now, but you get the gist of it. This is a fine quality road. I don't care what country you come from. And for it to help our residents and help people come in to visit us and tourists, if they can now, as long as you're watching your speed and obeying the signs, if they could now at night, even if they've never been here, safely navigate to your destination on the north coast. To me, living here, that's a huge, huge advantage. So I wanted to keep you guys uh, up to speed on that. And it's, it's just, um, progress comes, you know, one step at a time. And uh, you're gonna see a lot of these wood poles will eventually now be replaced with the concrete, like further on up the road. Anyway, we're getting there one step at a time. So until next time, this is old Barry and DR, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.